Hi, my name is Janet Mo Happy Banks, and you are watching another fantastic episode of the Online Prosperity Show with Prosper. Welcome to yet another exciting episode of the Online Prosperity Show. And today we've got none other than the transformational coach, Janet. Janet, how are you doing, my love? I am very well, thank you. Great thank stuff. Thank you for having me on the show. Great stuff. Obviously, there's going to be a bit of a delay. She's so far, far away. But we will try and see how we can get this going. So Janet is working with successful um women and successful entrepreneurs that actually know that there's more to their life and they're currently um you know experiencing blockages and everything else that comes along with it now janet tell us a little bit about your story and how you came about to be the transformational coach uh, well i mean my story my, the 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 way I uh, became a transformational coach, my journey has been long and winding, really long, really winding. Um, back in the day, I used to be a luxury cake designer. Um, I worked in the Ritz and the Connaught and um, some of the most prestigious places in the, in the UK. Um, I was on the preferred supplier list of all the major uh, wedding planners and event planners in the UK. I was in all the wedding magazines, I was on wedding TV, um, you know, wedding blogs galore. And then, just as my star was still rising, um, I developed a, um, an incurable digestive disorder. Um, and that meant that I was literally vomiting every day, multiple times a day. Um, and I was so, so poorly. Um, this obviously meant that I had to close my cake business, um, which was one of the hardest things I've ever, ever had to do. Um, who is in business, you will know that having a business is like having an extra child. Um, they take up as much time, they take up as much energy, they take up as much love in your heart and in your head and, you know, as having a baby. Um, so to let it go was so desperately hard, but I really didn't have a choice. Um, so how's the business? I moved from the London area um, down to Cornwall, which is a beautiful, beautiful part of the country. It's got coves and beaches and um, loads of trees. And because my prognosis was incredibly bad, um, it was like the best place to come for the end of your days. Um, then I got all my affairs in order. As you do, you know, you have to do that. Um, and as soon as I did that, as, as soon as I accepted my mortality, as soon as I accepted, right, I think I have done everything I can do, what can I do now? Then I found a chiropractor, um, just up, and she cracked my back, and there was an electrical signal um, going from my brain to my stomach had been disconnected and they found that out during um, the tests at the um, hospital and the chiropractor cracked my back and I got my pain and I the next morning I was out of pain for the first time in four and a half years and it was a complete change of life. I mean, A, to not be vomiting, so B, to not be in pain all the time. You just realize how precious life is. And so as soon as I got better, I, I felt it my duty and my purpose to help people live the best lives that they can and not to have to get to the end of their days the end of their days in severe pain to suddenly think oh you know i wish i'd have done this and i wish i'd have done that and my life has been really boring and i've never been satisfied you can change all of that you can change all of that right now but you have to decide to do it you have to realize that it is all in your capabilities to change it so that's how i became a coach i started through business coaching and then it meandered into transformational life coaching wow so would you would you like to admit to us right now that this career actually chose you and as much as if you hadn't gotten sick with your cake business you still will be up 
ritzing it up and la vida in 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 you know all the high high hotels that you were going out there did you feel fulfilled at least when you were doing the cake business or was that just something that came because it 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 was glamorous and good at the time no um i i felt totally fulfilled in the cake business that at that point in my time that was my purpose everything in my business flowed with complete ease and grace um but yes to answer your question absolutely um this this is now my new purpose i believe that as you go through life your purposes keep changing as you evolve as you grow as the universe around you um, discovers uh, well the universe always knows what's happening with you it's right. as you discover things as you learn and grow and yeah if I hadn't have been ill then absolutely I would still be making cakes in London um, my children would be having a completely different life than they're currently having um, and so would I but um, now being well absolutely this has chosen me um, Like I say, originally, uh, when I first started um, coaching, it was through business coaching. Right. Um, And then I sort of went through mindset coaching because I realized that, yeah, you can learn all the business skills in the world. Mm -hmm. But unless you have an unstoppable mindset, you're not actually going to achieve much. It's your mindset that that drives your business. Yeah. And then (laughs) as you go down the road, you discover actually if you're not happy if you're not happy with what you've got now no amount of money no amount of success will will flourish because you'll still you have lots more money but you won't be any happier so you need to work on your purpose what brings you what brings you the joy in your life what can you deliver to the world that that helps the world because everybody is here to help everybody else. I truly believe that. Um, we are all interconnected. Um, so if you help me, then I help you and help the guys over there somewhere, okay. you know, hmm. yeah, it sort of goes out like that. Right. Because what, what you just did now is go in to testify what I'm always talking about to those that are watching the show right now, that your life story and your experience has greater commercial value than you can ever possibly imagine of yourself. Now, if you notice Janet's story would have started off as, you know, what she thought was her life at that particular time, but the Jenny she went across and the things that she, she, she had to do in order to find her now newly found purpose of actually helping other people realize that there's more to life than the glimpse and the glamour that comes along with success and money, you know, that's, that's pretty something profound. However, I would like to know what, it's, what it is like to have money. So I'll keep finding out. <laughs> <laughs> money having money having money have you know because um the universe has, has given me this fantastic opportunity of being financially free i do not have to work unless i choose to which is incredible and i'm unbelievably grateful um but having money not having money it's it's a matter of ease and that's it you know if you've got money your life is easier because you can um you can pay for more things you can pay for more help and things like that not having money not having enough money is incredibly hard i have been there too i have had literally you know like pennies pennies in my in my hand um and i have gone out busking you know singing songwriting and playing guitar in the street to earn enough money for dinner that night i have been there i have you know um and it's, it's the amount of joy that you have. You can have a joyous life without being rich. You can have a miserable life being a millionaire. And, you know, and I'm not a millionaire, don't get me wrong. <laughs> but, you know. <laughs> um, but, yeah, and it's, it all comes from within you. Um, and once you develop your inner belief, your inner self-belief, your inner confidence, your inner happiness and joy, then the money will follow. Because you will be doing your purpose. You'll be doing what you are here for and the money will just come. Right. No so, 
Right. So obviously we might be having a really successful entrepreneur or lady and they really want to, um, they've really connected with your story because your story is quite touching. And as much as you were doing what you thought was your passion, but the universe showed you something different. Now, let's say we all don't have people that are going to crack our backs. What is the one thing that you can maybe tell somebody who's maybe on their journey or on their path, but right now they're not getting the fulfillment. They're not getting the satisfaction of where they are and they still feel there could be more where that came from, but they're not quite there yet. You know, you know that person I'm talking about who, who's, who, who doesn't quite get it or grasp it yet that they're full of potential. What is it that you can suggest for them to either look at, read, or listen to, or maybe some of the stuff that you put out there that they can, you know, uh, help them, you know, realize that they also can be, do, and have a life that you do now, um, you know, enjoy at the moment. Yeah, a life of ease and grace. I think that's what everybody everybody desires is a life of ease and grace, where you just, you know, you you go through life and things don't bother you so much because you have um, this huge resilience. So yes, you know, bad things happen, but you don't let them infect you in the same way. Um, and my, my top advice for how to achieve that is to develop um, a sense of trust, a sense of trust in yourself, um, that you are awesome, that you are here for a reason. Um, and it might not be the reason that you think you're here for, you know, so um, you might be doing something that doesn't, that doesn't give you fulfillment. So you need to go and dig really deep inside you and work out what it is, what gives you joy, what gives you the most joy in the whole of your world. Um, what, uh, what can you do today um, to wake up tomorrow morning feeling incredibly happy because there's always something there is always something that um, somebody is exceptional at and it's just a case of finding that and I think that the way to do that is to dig really deep and start with joy so throughout my life I have always provided joy for other people and that that is you know that is my my overall purpose so when I was a singer songwriter I was providing joy in people used to enjoy uh, listening to me singing and song you know and my songs listening to me singing um, and then with the wedding cakes I I you know the wedding cake is is a, a major part of a wedding you know and so when I would present my cakes to brides and grooms um, they would feel joy it's all about joy um your joy their joy um so what can you do today that brings joy to somebody else and yourself in equal measure that's the tip because it's no good serving 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 what you think other people need it's you have to start with you first your joy and then you give it out all right. Because Does that make sense? Yeah, no, I got you. I got you. Because what you're trying to say is you can't give that of which you don't have. So if it's going to yeah. be love, if it's going to be happiness, smiles, if you're not happy inside, you're not going to have an overfill to give to other people. And soon mm -hmm. enough, you will burn out. Okay. Yeah. So is that is that how we've understood you there, Janet? Yeah, but also, but also you're only going to receive what you truly believe yeah okay so if you, if you know that um that i mean i know that i i can really help people i know that my story is inspirational and it has inspired people because people have told them so right. um, and then that you build on that and that gives you the self-belief to then go out and give more of it right okay right you do yeah. keep you do keep referring back to the self-belief now i also see behind you there's a wide array of books so obviously you are feeding the mind and you are feeding the soul with different kind of nourishment that um you mm -hmm. know a lot of people don't quite uh undertake how important is um the influences that come to you in um making 
in, in not not just you per se, but to anyone else, how important are the influences that we expose ourselves um, every day, the books we read, the people we talk to in our path to uh, finding that joy that you are mentioning there? Hugely. It's hugely important. Um, okay, a couple of things. So, first of all, if you are a business owner, your business will only grow to the extent that you do. Right. Um, you, cannot, you cannot create an incredibly successful, um, prosperous business if you inside are feeling very small. Right. Yeah? So, as you grow, your business will grow. Um, and education, education it expands the mind and you know we are here to expand in in every conceivable way um so you know we're ex here to expand our love we're here to expand our joy we're here to expand our knowledge and our intellects um and we're here to teach people as well so once we learn something then go teach it so you're expanding other people's joy and knowledge um but as far as um, messages coming in so many people are very, very negative, and that does you no service whatsoever. Surrounding yourself with negative people will bring you down, and it's all about raising your vibrations really high so you have this joyous life. Um, if you constantly buy into the news, um, then it's full of negativity, negativity, negativity. I'm not saying don't be aware of what's going on in the world, but don't let it seep into your brain and can you know and control you because that's what it does all the media messages you know they're all filled with with really low vibes and and anger and hatred and if you keep listening to that that is what you will be filled with if you surround yourself with information and people that promote happiness and joy and um, high vibrational living, then that is what you will be filled with. Does that make sense? So it's, it's like, you know, you cannot, you cannot expect to be this um, empty cup. Imagine you're an empty cup, yeah, and there are two taps. One is all negative, and that's what's going in. That cup, you are going to be filled with negative, negativity. If you change the tap and put positive energy into it, you will be filled with positivity. Right. Okay. So if you find yourself constantly complaining, stop. It's, I, I launched um, a 48-hour uh, yeah, challenge to stop complaining. And you'd be amazed at how difficult people find that. Because we are so used to just nitpicking complaining complaining all the time about oh my tea's a bit cold oh isn't it cold today or um gosh it's really hot i mean in the uk especially we're never happy with the weather it's either too cold too hot too windy too rainy you know just be <laughs> joyful you know the rain the rain makes the grass grow you know we need the rain we need the sunshine we need the cold weather too to kill, to kill all the bacteria that are causing us germs you know, everything, everything that life is bringing you, you need, and you need to embrace the good and the bad. Great. So, so obviously you're talking about complaining and me having an African background, you know, everything is rosy, you know? So I really find it difficult when I get around people that are complaining. Um, but have you also ever noticed that people only get to complain about things they can control? Have you ever heard of anyone complaining about gravity? Gravity is what causes a lot of accidents. Gravity is what causes people to fall down. Gravity is what causes um, their good China to fall. But nobody goes in and says, oh, done gravity. People only get to complain about things they can fix. If you notice somebody complaining about something, it's something that has a solution. It's something that they can fix. Yep. Yeah. Absolutely. Right. But what most people do is they, they don't focus on the solution. They think focus on the problem. And that's not where you should be focusing. You should focus on the solutions, not the problems. Great stuff. So what's your two minute solution now for that mom who's probably is a stay at home um, entrepreneur that is trying to shift from corporate and has maybe a two year old who's nagging them. The, the people, clients are not paying on time 
and she's just not finding fulfillment, but she is writing a status on her Facebook that, yay, I'm hustling, yay, I'm an entrepreneur. How can you help her raise her vibration, like you said, raise her energy okay. and, and constantly be a productive person? Okay, so number one, gratitude. Think of five things every morning as soon as you wake up think of five things that you are grateful for today because we are so lucky you know we have houses to live in we have good health hopefully we have food to eat all of these things you should be incredibly grateful for um so gratitude everything starts with gratitude and gratitude is amazing so it produces a chemical called d H E A, um, it kills cortisol, and cortisol is the hormone that um, produces stress. So, if you can, you will eliminate your stress or help to eliminate your stress. It's all biochemical magic, it's wonderful stuff. Um, book of gratitude. So, yeah, every day, five, five things that you're really, really grateful for. And at the end of the day, think of five things that have gone well that day. Um, so, even on your very, very, very worst days, five things happened that um, were good, that made you smile, made you relax just a little bit. Even if it's something like the baby stopped crying for half an hour and I got to have a cup of tea. That is a win. That goes in your book of wins. And as you create these books, you will find that um, you start appreciating what you have in your life and not focusing on what you don't have. And the more, the more you appreciate what you have, the more of what you want will appear, like magic. Wow. Okay. So that's where you start. <laughs> right, so now that um, Entrepreneur has been raved up, she now knows she only has to choose five things to be grateful about. How can she get a hold of you? Because I think there's more where this came from. <laughs> uh, yeah, I have um, a website, which is um, janet.mohappybanks.com, which you can get me on. Um, I'm also on Facebook. Uh, if you do a search, I believe I am the only Janet Mohappy Banks in the world. <laughs> so you, you can't fail to find me. <laughs> Great stuff. Um, I have a Facebook page, um, and every morning I, I give out, you know, my... my, um, my my views on on the world and you know ways of thinking that could raise your vibration and help you help you with your lives because it's my purpose it's my purpose to make a happy happy world um and so yeah i'd love it if you joined me in it great stuff it seems like you've got a whole lot of things going on and i hope uh, whoever's watching right now will join you on your um daily um you know devotionals that you put out there which is pretty pretty amazing i can't thank you enough for your time today and i think this video is going to be part of my gratitude for today because i'm really thankful for your time and i'm really excited that we got to connect even it's such short notice great now if you well, had just one having me that's fine if you had just one thing before we close off the show what would it be that you'd want to say to that one person so that they can come around to your website and say, Janet, because of you, my life is different now. It's, you have to choose. You have to choose to make your life better. It's all up to you. It's your choice. Um, you can either live where you are, which is comfortable, probably, you know, it's very comfy to be exactly where you are. But if you want to grow, if you want to, properly feel fulfilled in everything that you do then you know i can help with that or you can go and seek other help um seek it for yourself do it yourself for whatever it is try and learn and grow and um, because everybody everybody has a gift to give the world and you can do it it's in you it's absolutely in you to deliver it wow you know how inspired I am right now? If I was a lady, I'll be right there typing and going and everything else that comes along with it. Well, thank you so much, Janet, for 
gracing us with your presence today on the online prosperity show and if you've been watching this and if this has touched you in some sort of way which it has i would recommend that you get in touch with janet and she will definitely put you on the straight and narrow because as she says everything is a choice so you choose to either first of all subscribe to this show because that's how you found her and second of all just go around and get in touch with janet so that she can help you be do and have a life that's profitable and enjoyable this has been prosper and thank you so much janet for tuning in with us today i really 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 wish you all the best in your endeavors and um thank you <laughs> Thank you so much. It's been an absolute pleasure. Great stuff. <laughs> All right.